Do you remember our cartoon icons? You know, the guys we grew up with? I suppose after the magic of our childhood expires, we start to think, who are the faces behind the faces? And I'm not talking about the animators, for no artist can draw a voice. They're not making it up as they go along. They're actors, and some of them hail from the Northern Hemisphere country of Canada. And one of their daughters is Susan Roman. Born on April 17th, 1957 at Watson, Canada, there is very little known about her early life, apart from doing a brief stint in pornography. Her feature film debut was in the David Cronenberg horror movie, Rabbit. She would go on later to star in the period piece sitcom, Flappers, but she would find her true calling in the 1981 animated cult classic, Heavy Metal. Despite being a small role, it would give her a taste of what she would be doing in the rest of her career. Her name would end up being credited in 80s shows such as Strawberry Shortcake, Care Bears, Robocop, and Maxie's World, including the cult classic The Raccoons. Despite The Raccoons being Canadian, the other cartoons were American. In fact, there was a lot of Canadian voice actors supplying audio to the Americans but leaving out the traditional signatures of their accent. In the beginning of the 90s, she would take the role of her most iconic and famous character, not supplying the voice, but a sound. The canine barkings of Snowy, in The Adventures of Tintin. The interesting side note is, Snowy was originally meant to speak before they chose barking. Just like Pikachu's voice actress, so much expression can come out the same sound over and over again. Something that Susan provided really well. Years later, she would have the chance of doing a voiceover for stuff from the East. And of course, I'm talking about Sailor Moon, providing the voice of Sailor Jupiter. And it's the kind of stuff fans still remember decades later. In fact, she was the only voice actress to do each Sailor Moon series. Susan not only did a voice for Japanese anime, but even a Japanese video game, providing the voice of Mega Man. Now about to turn 60, she began as a newcomer, learning how to do things, and now people are learning from her. This one's dedicated to you, Susan. <laughs>